Hello tool groupies, welcome to the Backwoods Mechanic channel. If you like tool reviews, do-it-yourself, how-to videos, and much more, make sure to pop the clutch on that subscribe button and enjoy this tool review. Today we're going to be looking at the Performance Tool Infrared Thermometer. This is model number W89721. Performance Tool is owned by the Wilmar Corporation, for those who did not know that. I went to my local car quest today, picked up some parts to fix some things, and of course this was there. The guy behind the counter is like, hey, this is on sale right now, 25 bucks instead of 40, and I decided to go ahead and pick it up for 25 bucks. Now I have a fluke meter that unfortunately quit working. It started malfunctioning, and now the screen on it doesn't work at all, so I had to replace it anyway, and I just haven't got around to buying one yet. So this, for the price, we're gonna test it out, try it out, see if it gets the job done, and then you can just check out in the description box below where you can go buy it at get on this if you want one this is a great price it's well worth risking now of course the infrared thermometer tells you right here the temperature range is negative 58 degrees to 716 degrees fahrenheit easy to read backlight display home auto and industrial use with a 9 volt battery included and a laser pointer for accurate use all this stuff included so you're getting a little bit of everything that you need right here of course i opened up the package so we already got it put together we'll check all this out it does have a one-year limited warranty so wherever you buy that keep your receipt in case you need to warranty this out if not well everything will be in the description box below how to get in contact with performance tool the specs and accuracy right here if you want to pause it look at that you can it's got a low battery indication auto power shut off wavelength response it's got the distance spot ratio accuracy resolution all that good stuff right there now for further information you can go to the wilmarcorp.com or you can call 1-800-497-0552 this is made in china it gives you the warning danger indicators right there about the laser make sure not to put it near your eyes avoid direct eye exposure because of radiation and otherwise it'll tell you the basic distance to spot ratio right here it gives you a little bit of a visual example but for all that stuff, you can just take this little paper right here. They give you the owner's manual. It's basically one sheet of paper. It goes through the same details that was on the box right there. Gives you the introduction and how it works. Now, how it works, it basically measures the surface temperature of the object that you're taking the little laser and putting it on. That way you know what the surface temperature is. Comes in handy for a lot of different jobs out here. Most of the time everybody sees people using these on automobiles, but I'm gonna show you some different uses for these. Goes through the cautions, the quick start instructions, maintenance, parts identification is right here, and the operating instructions. Now whenever you get this thing out, pull the battery out, it's got this little latch right here as you can see the battery stuck in behind there you just pull this up right there's your battery you go ahead and pop it in place you stick it back down now it's not going to be made out of the most durable material in the world but it works and that's what counts you might have to wrap some black tape around it this that and the other as you go about your day like i said the fluke is well designed they're well worth buying if you need one but this for 25 bucks it's going to be worth having in your toolbox regardless of what it is that you do whether you're working in hvac industrial repairs things of that nature it's got the orange and black plastic collars right here. Gives you the performance tool model and all that good information right there. The dangers. Now it's got these three buttons here that you can use that goes through the displays. You got your backlight, which is this one here. Then you've got your Celsius or your degrees Fahrenheit. All you got to do to operate this thing is hit that trigger. Once you hit that trigger, it comes on and then you can choose what it is that you're working with. Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then you got your backlight. You can turn on and off. And then you can go into other things over here. Now some of the stuff that I work on from time to time is industrial machines, such as laundry equipment, commercial laundry equipment. This thing is a giant super Cylon 8 roller steam iron. And in the middle of this, it's got what's called a chest. And as you can see, there's lines right here in the middle underneath each one of these rollers is part of the chest. It is pieced together down inside here. If this chest is not hot and it doesn't have full of steam and all that good stuff working in it, it's not going to function properly. So from time to time, you might want to come over here, take that little laser indicator, which is this button right here, turns your laser on, and then you can see what you're looking at. As you can see, this is working fine, 218 degrees. Maybe I'll come down here and make sure the chest is heated up good. Once again, 
208 degrees. Now, if I did have a problem and the chest wasn't as hot in one area or the other, the next thing I'll do is go to the steam traps. This is the return line. If something is stopped up inside any of these steam traps right here, it's going to prevent this chest from getting hot in one point or another. And the best way to check it is go down here to the traps. Process of elimination. Check them. 188. Go down to the next one. 190. 188. 194. 191 so on and so forth now if you get to one that is a substantial difference in temperature then it's going to tell you that that is the one that's the problem you're going to have to make sure that it's unclogged that you get a rebuild kit for it you know get it fixed up back on the road again and then back to work this will help you find the problem just by taking the temperature of it you can do the same thing with these industrial dryers this is a unimac if you want to make sure that it's heating up the way it's supposed to take it aim the laser at it and it will tell you the surface temperature on the inside and it'll let you know if it's heating up like it's supposed to now if it's not there's probably a problem somewhere and then you're going to want to use the process of elimination is the thermostat working right is your switches working right or is these coils clogged up now something like this milner right here has one solid coil on the top of it this has two different bank coils this you can check out and make sure that it's heating up through the coils properly because sometimes there could be a clog inside there you could have a leak it'll be leaking steam sometimes it'll just get clogged up so the best way to find that out is take this and check each individual one of those coils little copper tip sticks out there just check each one make sure it's got the right temperature now if it's not functioning properly then you know you got a problem if it's not heating up you know you might have a problem and the best thing you can do once again these have traps on them if this dryer wasn't heating up all you got to do is come back here and put this laser thermometer on it and it tells you 97 degrees wow 97 degrees let's check the one on the dryer next to it here that one is 206 degrees so that tells me that that trap right there is working perfectly fine and this one right here is not working perfectly fine which it actually is but we've got it disconnected the coil had a problem we had to take it out we're getting it repaired right now so there's no steam on this line but that is a great example on what you'll see it'll also let you know kind of like electricians electricians don't work on anything electrical without checking the electrical current making sure it's got power anybody working on equipment like this you don't just reach up and grab it full-handed you want to use this just like you would an electrical meter test it out this one's cool to the touch that one's not going to be so it saves you from getting burned and it'll also give you some good ideas i guess if you go into different factories you're not familiar with what you're working with they might not have the lines quite organized the way you would expect them to and you can easily just take one of these and be like okay here is the return line right there is the steam line that goes in it lets you be able to identify different lines these also have stackers on them and sometimes those stackers will get clogged up full of lint what you do is you take this do the same thing if it's one temperature on the bottom and it's really high and as you go up that stacker and it gets really low temperature then it'll kind of indicate where the clog might be at in these big tubes right here and let you know where you need to focus at whenever you're going to make the repair same thing can be said with this big boiler stacker right here this big boiler stacker it's essential that they have the proper flow of air and everything through them so you're going to want to make sure to test them from time to time even if it's doing preventative maintenance you're going to want to test it all the way down the tube and make sure that there's no big change in the actual temperature because if there is it's clogged up somewhere bird nest something like that clogged up inside of it you never know it could create problems and you want to keep those problems at a bare minimum and this could help you do that these things are great for working on presses we got a uni press here this is a shirt machine it's got two of these cast chests right here in the side that the shirt goes inside of on this piece right here smashes it together and then it heats it up irons the shirt now on the inside here if you look on this side it is 170 to 168 degrees but then you come over on this side and it is 208 degrees and the reason for that is because there is a very small leak on the back side of this chest we have to pull it off take it and get it welded up and put it back on but that lets me know if like the shirts or the clothes are coming out and they're not quite as dry as they should be look as good as they should be test it out because there could be a small leak that you might not see because these machines are very noisy and you might not always see where the steam's coming from and this could easily pinpoint there's a problem in the chest here 
on that right side and whenever we started looking we found it and it was on the back side of it just like right here it tells me that this side here is perfectly fine so the problem is over there when you're working with hand irons for example you know industrial laundry equipment stuff like that you could do the same thing when this is plugged up and turned on if it stays right around 100 and some degrees don't get any higher and it's on the high setting that it's got then you might have a problem they should reach right around 200 degrees to 180 degrees if it don't get no hotter than that then you've got something going on somewhere whether it's the thermostat going bad or maybe the fuse inside of it's going bad it'll be time to inspect it check it out see what's going on same concept with any of these presses it will show you if there is a problem if there's a leak if it's got the accurate temperature on all sides of the press head it'll take you to the lines and it'll let you know if the lines have the same type of temperature, if the steam traps are clogged up or not. And basically it'll help you with a whole lot of maintenance and a whole lot of problems in the future. Because if you can catch the problem in time, you can fix it before it gets real bad. It'll let you know if your heaters, if you got a little electric heater and you're you know got it in your house and you think it might be too hot or not getting hard enough, you could check out the manual, see how hot they're supposed to get, check it out. And be able to see what the temperature is if you have a motor and you own a business or something and you got a problem you got something going on you're not sure if your motor's going bad or not your motors will get hot some of them has a thermal fuse in them that will prevent them from getting hot some of them don't a lot of the time especially air compressors if air compressors are getting way too hot during operation then it could cost you a lot of big money in the end and one of the best things you can do is go and check that motor see what the temperature of the motor should be and see what the dangerous levels are for the motors and whenever they're in operation you can easily check them out with having to just guess by putting your hand on the burner you know you could just take it get a good estimate on it and then go from there match it up with whatever numbers you got from the factory hell even if you got a refrigerator and it's not working right you don't think it's getting cold enough just pop that trigger up take it and put it on degrees celsius and then aim it right there it goes it shows me that it is a negative 15 to 16 degrees in this freezer so it's freezing the food the way it's supposed to it's working pretty good hvac uses these industrial mechanics uses these automotive mechanics use these whenever you got a temperature problem in the radiator of your vehicle it's real easy for them to gauge the temperature on the radiator to see if you got a clog or not you got a problem or not i'm sure there's plenty of videos out here to check this stuff out with these can tell you if your water's boiling right, if the beer's cold enough in the refrigerator. It's got a thousand different uses that you could use these things for. And generally speaking, they could cost you quite a bit of money depending on what name brand you get. Now, if you're someone like me, I just haven't got around to replacing my Fluke yet, so I went ahead and picked this up, caught it on sale. Like I said, $25 instead of $40. It was well worth that price. Might even go back and get another one. These are always good to have on hand for anybody who does any type of repairs involving heat or cold spots things like that it could help you with troubleshooting it could help you you know prevent something from tearing up ahead of time it's a good maintenance tool to have also like i said if you want to check things up you're doing maintenance checks to make sure everything's functioning right you know you get the numbers and stats and they will be well worth having i will let you know how this thing works for the long haul but as you can see it does function properly you got your laser that you can turn on and off your celsius your fahrenheit and your backlight that's basically all you need to get started this does everything i need it to do and it's going to make life much much easier but hey if you want to see more tool reviews you want to see these things in action all you got to do is pop the clutch on that subscribe button to get deal alerts go over to instagram follow me over there and as always keep making repairs great again